morning, good morning, good morning. This is Sister Sharita, Miss Sharita coming to you today with the, um, a little snippet about, um, J um, J George Zimmerman, Zimmer, the one who killed the young guy, Trayvon Martin, and Jay-Z, well, um, George Zimmerman, um, threatened to beat Jay-Z and feed him to the alligators because of the um, upcoming documentary that Jay-Z is working with um, Harvey Weinstein. Um, I believe that's who it is on um, working with him. He plan, have plans on working with him about doing the, Jay -Z, doing the documentary. And therefore, they were um, um, asking or... Uh, um, as George Zimmerman say, harassing his family about inf information, you know, about what all happened and whatnot. And um, George Zimmerman didn't take too kindly to that. But just think, he's getting upset about um, his family being harassed or, or his family being bothered or whatever they may be doing. But at least his family is alive and can experience something. Trey Trayvon is dead. He's cold and in the grave. Now how about that? But yeah, George Zimmerman he got the nerve to threaten somebody. Threaten Jay Z of all people to beat him and feed him to the alligator. Yes, he did too, y'all. He threatened him. And really, if they was in one-on-one, -on -one, I really don't uh, think it would be in George Zimmerman's favor. I think Jay-Z could beat um, George easily. But I'm just saying the nerve of some people. You know, um, sure, Jay-Z, I mean, people should be, uh, have to forgive and go on. But the nerve of the perpetrator, the one who did the assault, the killing of another individual, and when somebody who he think who he loves uh, bothers bothers them, he gets he becomes angry, and you make a threat, so he will beat him and feed him to the alligator. No, he did. Well, yes, he did. People got nerves. So, so it's really check it out. Just um. Enter a few keywords on the computer and take you straight to the story. Sister Sharita, Miss Sharita Gamma, I'm out. Love you. Take care.